Hello and welcome to the Healing Streams Reflection. The title for today's post is Relationship. Beloved, you can't have a million dollar relationship with a 50 cent investment. It seems everyone wants relationship. But most of us settle for far less than God intended as true relationship. Therefore, it is your responsibility to identify the divine rule of every relationship. I read an author some time ago who made the statement, if a man has six individuals in his life that he can totally trust, who will totally trust him? Who will love him unconditionally? Who will cherish the relationship enough? To stand beside him and fight for him, no matter what, even though they may not always agree. Who will not deride nor diminish his dreams and goals? That man is an extremely wealthy man. Beloved, Sometimes, people will put on their best clothes, know it all green because they'll tell you, I love people. And I decided to prove to myself how worthy, wealthy I really am by making a list of individuals in my life that fit that description. The list began to build. I had one, then two, after a little clutch, slipping, so searching, I came up with three. And weeks later, I am still pursuing the description, wondering where are the rest of those I taught to add to my list. I continued to bandy the idea about in my head and my conclusion is that I am not really as good at this relationship thing as I thought. Now there is a revelation but it set me to thinking about the term relationship what does it mean how does it happen where will i always be right never disappointed can i survive if i discover i've been wrong what can i do differently that may qualify me to add to my own list. What does relationship mean? The dictionary says that a relationship is a connection between two individuals. I thought it interesting that it comes from a root word having to do with mathematics. Three might be an equation somewhere here. There is also an underlying idea of bonding or being glued together as you would glue two sheets of paper together or glue the sole to the shoe. Beloved, 
it will be fair to say that a true relationship is a solid connection between two individuals that each should not only inspire but add or even multiply the gifts and talents of the other and that the connection should be permanent proverbs 18 24 states that there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother that is why the most important person in your life is the person who built your faith how does relationship happen truth be known relationship does not happen relationship is built relationship requires investment you cannot have a million dollar relationship with a 50 cent investment any more than you can build a million dollar relationship with someone who only wants a 50 cent relationship obviously you cannot have true relationship with everyone so choices enter in as someone will say a very renowned minister who do i celebrate that celebrates me only a starting point okay to have something to build with one must know strengths weaknesses integrity and the list to go on and on but the main operative word will be time you will never build relationship with anyone unless both are willing to make the investment of time time to know strength time to know weakness time to learn integrity time to communicate Time to be real. Time to be flexible. Time to show gentleness. Time to express life. Time, time, time. Even time to evaluate responses and reciprocation of investment. Will I always be right? never disappointed let me just ask this question do you think jesus was disappointed at the actions of judas or that paul he had been disappointed at the fact that demas had left him that is why access is not relationship access it's opportunity to qualify for relationship. Can I survive if I discover I've been wrong about a relationship? Yes, you can. If your relationship with Christ is strong. Everyone suffers loss of relationship somewhere in life. Some seem to set themselves up for it. And it will never cease to disappoint when it happens. There will be times where it will become necessary for you to disconnect from a wrong relationship. But your success may be sabotaged if you do not. Paul even declares, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Philippians 14. Friends, what can I do differently that will qualify me to add to my own list of true relationship? And what can you two do differently that will qualify you to add to your own list of true relationship? 
I do not want to oversimplify the answer to this. The stronger my relationship with Jesus, the more I submit my soul to the ministrations of the Holy Spirit, the better I'll get a relationship because I'll make much better decisions in all areas. At the same time, I need to research where I can invest me that will make a difference in other people's lives so that I can reap a harvest in mine. And that is why the question is, do you think Jesus was disappointed at the actions of Judah? Or that Paul may have been disappointed at the fact that Demas had left him? Be reminded that order in a refrigerator is explained by the expiration date. Order in a relationship may be explained by the same way. Just for curiosity, how many true solid relationships do you have? And what can you do to upgrade your list? The effort will be worth it, guaranteed. But remember that every relationship has rules, known for unknown, spoken or unspoken, ignored or embraced, honored or dishonored. I pray that the good Lord will help you and I to invest in any positive relationship we find ourselves today. Blessings. Enjoy your day. Bye.